Um, let's engage the unit. Start with the uh, 18 amperes baseline. Hmm. All gibberish to me. Nicola, you sly dog. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot. Sir Galahad. Please, this way. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. must be precisely aligned. It can be a bit difficult. Ah. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. Six eighty four marksman carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Skills never cease to amaze me. Recoil is sharp, but manageable. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Well, the monocular that uh, General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it.
We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day? Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. A lone chapel stood just there, offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my time. The city walls had yet to come up. Now you can smell the white chapel before you see it. <laughs> We rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. This way, monsieur. The ashes are still warm. Doesn't look good. He ain't getting up. Stay down, you stupid gits. And how does our beloved queen show her consideration for us poor mortals? By sending her precious knights to prowl our streets and violate our homes in the name of law and order! Yeah. Where is the law, I ask you? Yeah. I'll tell you where. Dead and buried! And where there is no law, the people must rise up! Rise up and fight! Reclaim their rights! They tell you things have never been better. We've been spotted. They tell you England is making progress. What's all this progress brought you? Hideous slums, some no more than crannies of obscure misery. Long hours in factories, only to be paid a pittance, and told by your masters to be grateful for a few bob a week. Children work to She's dead because of you! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
bon, monsieur. Didn't care to dirty your aristocratic hands. It's all right. There's no need to be afraid. How could I have known he was a ripper? He was just another bloke. He killed another one last night. I didn't know. Leave her be, monsieur. I didn't She's know. Don't worry. You're safe now. We should head through this door. No weapons allowed in the establishment. You want to stay, you leave it here. Bien sûr, monsieur. As a matter of fact, we were just looking for the code closet. Give it here. And a fun, governor. At ease, monsieur. A quick reconnaissance of the premises seems imperative. Join me upstairs now. Another time. Tell me the truth. It was I can show you things you've never seen before. I don't doubt it. General Lafayette, veteran. Marquis, this is no time for sport. We have to find a way out of here quickly. I have just a thing, monsieur. If one of you ladies would reach into my pocket. Give it here, love. Is it sufficient, monsieur? <laughs> More than sufficient, I'd say. Upstairs, then, if you please. 